Guys, did you see Karma get a tactical nuke on his first ever game on the Modern Warfare beta? What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about killstreaks, specifically the tactical nuke in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now the little opening segment at the beginning of this video was pretty much just a, a, a meme. Uh, if you guys don't know somehow, uh, Karma actually got a tactical nuke on his first ever game of Modern Warfare beta and everybody lost their minds. Everybody lost their mind every everybody who was streaming on twitch all the big streamers people were flooding their chat saying did you see karma got a nuke did you see karma got a nuke hey did you see karma got a nuke like everybody was was like losing their shit that that karma got a nuke first game on it even got to the point where websites were started to post articles about the first ever tactical nuke and we also saw um on snapchat one of the snapchat news articles on the stories was of the first ever nuke on modern warfare and why am i talking about this well it turns out back may 11th of this year i made a video talking about four things that modern warfare absolutely needed to have in order for it to be good and one of the points that i made in the video was that the game needs a tactical nuke it's a win-win to put in good kill streaks and don't even get me started on the tactical nuke and the moab right the tactical nuke is the reason that i got this gameplay right people are still playing modern warfare 2 because of the tactical nuke like that's why people keep playing and 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 that's what call of duty is 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 lacking i said in the video i was like the tactical not only do people love to get the tactical nuke but it's also something that players can work towards and it's satisfying it's rewarding it feels good to get a nuke and just bomb the entire map it feels good it's epic it's awesome it's it's one of the coolest things that call of duty has ever done and it turns out that i was right this is rare i know but i am i was actually right because look at the community response to the tactical nuke just look at it as soon as it happened we saw news articles we saw the community just cr freak out about the first ever nuke we saw P snapchat the snapchat story posting about the first ever nuke for modern warfare people lost their minds and this is what i was trying to say this is what i was talking about when i made that video modern warfare 2 still gets players because they want to get the tactical nuke if you play modern warfare 2 right now if you jump on that game a lot of the people in the lobby are probably sweating and if you see them drop a harrier you know that they have a chopper gunner after that which means they're going for a nuke they definitely are going for a nuke a lot of the players who are playing that game right now are still going for a nuke and this is what call of duty needed we needed the positive press we needed the community to rally around something excitedly something good something that they can be happy about right like oh my god he got a nuke that's amazing right instead every year the past couple of years the only time that the community rallies around something is to be angry about something when they're angry about microtransactions or supply drops or the seasons pass or the lack of leaderboards or glitches or gun balance or footsteps or perks or lack of this or that or the other thing and this is what we needed we needed the community to come together and get excited about a feature in a call of duty game like the last time this happened was when we saw boost boots on the ground confirmed and before that nothing we didn't see it for years no the community didn't care about anything right so the new coming back to modern warfare is a really really good thing not only for the community but for the longevity of the game and this is again something i talked about in that video back in may people are still playing modern warfare 2 for the nuke so you want right in the in ideal world you want people to play modern warfare past this year you want people to have a reason to go back and play it which is not something that we had for black ops 4 right i'm not gonna touch black ops 4 again the only reason people are going to play black ops 4 after this year is for blackout and maybe zombies right nobody is going to be playing multiplayer maybe a couple of people if it was their first cod and they're nostalgic for it in four years whatever but real realistically no one's going back to black ops 4 for multiplayer but we need things to keep playing Players playing the games longer than just one year and i know that 
that call of duty doesn't necessarily want this to happen because they want players to move on to the next game spend the 60 dollars get invested in that game and then move on the year after right but we need things in the game that get players excited and and increase the longevity of these titles because that's what keeps a strong community right a community that fragments every single year and people who drop off fall off every year people who are oh, this game's not for me anymore this and that like that's terrible for the community and we want a strong positive community not only on youtube but for the game itself and while we're talking about kill streaks right the nuke being a 30 kill streak super super cool in modern warfare we have to look at the other kill streaks in the game and this is another thing that i've been i've been saying this since like 2015 good kill streaks make a call of duty fun they do that's what separated modern warfare 2 from all the other first person shooters back in the day is that you can get a chopper gunner and just absolutely destroy people like you could just absolutely melt people for a good minute or whatever however long it lasts 45 seconds um and from there on you can get a tactical loop like that's what the game needed that's what we needed in call of duty and it looks like from the beta and from what we've seen so far that the kill streaks in modern warfare are not only good but are also attainable and i've been saying this for a very long time we need good kill streaks that even an average player can sometimes obtain because not only does it give him that massive rush of excitement and exhilaration and dopamine of like oh my god this is so cool like i'm killing everybody i'm gonna go you know 30 and 1 this game like it's it's, it's an epic moment in call of duty right that's probably why most of you guys uh, fell in love with the franchise without even realizing it right you didn't realize why you kept playing but when you look back it's like okay the reason you kept playing not because you were good at the game but because every few games you had an excellent game you had a, an amazing pub stomping experience and the fact that it wasn't every game the fact that you weren't given kills every game the fact that sometimes you did shit right but other times you did amazing it was it's that delayed gratification um, that that gives you massive reward right You're, you feel really good when you do that well occasionally not every game but occasionally so the fact that we're seeing kill streaks like the chopper gunner at 10 kills super super happy about that super happy to see a 10 kill chopper gunner i've been saying this for a long time the chopper gunner needed to come back and it's back the ac 130 needed to come back and it's back in the form of what the gunship i think it's called i think it's a 15 kill streak um i don't know how that's going to be like if it's a 15 kill streak it better be better than the chopper gunner but i feel like in modern warfare 2 it wasn't so i don't know how that's gonna play out like maybe it lasts longer this time whereas in modern warfare 2 they last the same amount of time so i don't know um but yeah i'm just i'm super super happy to see the community's reaction around karma getting this tactical nuke and everybody losing their mind and getting very excited for the introduction of a nuke and just the excitement that it brings about in the community i mean think about modern warfare 2 we didn't really have streaming back then right we didn't i mean actually we didn't i don't think we had streaming at all back then um for modern warfare 2 i think streaming started around modern warfare 3 if i'm not mistaken maybe black ops i don't know but mainstream streaming didn't start until a couple of years ago right um so just think about how epic it's gonna be to see people like really good at the game live streaming and getting nukes it's gonna be super awesome and it's really good for the community it's good for players too because it's something for them to strive for it's a goal for them to reach it's a reason for them to log on and play this game instead of fortnite and that's what call of duty needs right now call of duty needs a reason for players to want to play and want to get better and i think the tactical nuke is a small piece of that puzzle along with good powerful fun kill streaks that average players can get and guys with that being said i want to hear your comments in the comment section below tell me what do you think about the kill streaks in this game um what do you think about the tactical nuke it seems to me that i kind of i hit the the nail right on the head when i when i talked about this back in may we needed the nuke we needed the kill streaks and here they are i'm super excited to play it um on october 25th when the game comes out you can expect a lot of videos coming from me for modern warfare so if you want to see more of that make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video subscribe for more videos like this one uh click that bell so you get notified the next time that i upload a video and of course my discord and all of my social medias are in the links in the description if you want to stay connected with me ask me any questions share your thoughts 
whatever the case might be and guys with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace